The most powerful spells in Hogwarts Legacy come at a cost. Yes, that's right. You're going to have to do some horrible things to get some of these insane Hogwarts Legacy combos. Obviously, the game is fun to play, but if you want to be OP and if you want to just destroy all of your enemies, make sure you guys stick around right now to see all these crazy combos that you can just annihilate enemies with. I'm talking destroy. I'm talking slash. I'm talking eviscerate into the distance. That being said, all these spells are super easy to obtain. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel real quick. Scroll down, hit that subscribe and like button. Let's get right into this. So the first two spells we're going to talk about that are the best combos almost in the game is the Glacius spell. You're going to want to pick up the Glacius Mastery Talent as well as the Defendo Mastery Talent. Both of these are going to allow you to do big burst EOE damage and hit multiple enemies at once. Also, I would recommend picking up Confrigo Mastery and maybe Incendio Mastery as well. But Glacius and Defendo are going to be the two big spells here you can see. Freezing enemies with Glacius allows for big critical hits afterwards. So no matter what spell essentially you cast after you cast Glacius, once you hit them with another spell, it's going to do critical damage. Now, the great thing here you can see is when you cast Defendo after Glacius, Defendo does huge damage and does extra critical damage on top of Glacius just because of the combo of the spell. That's how the game works, right? So... Imagine there's a block standing there and you shatter it. Yeah, it's going to do it's going to cause chaos, right? It's going to do extra damage. That being said, what I tend to do when I'm playing is run a multi-talent setup, meaning I'll have two or three slots of spells I rotate through, and once I get to the third slot, I can rotate back to the first slot of spells and use them all over again. So, the first one is Glacius and Defendo, which is comboed together. I then have Expelliarmus and Confrigo. So that way I can hit all four of those in a row. Now whether you chain Confrigo after Glacius, it really doesn't matter. Defendo definitely does the most damage though. The next is a spell all by itself that I use literally all the time playing is Transformation. You're going to want to pick up the Transformation Mastery Talent. The reason being because this spell with it is super OP. What it allows you to do right here is turn enemies into objects but when you have the transformation mastery spell it allows you to turn objects into throwable explosive barrels unless something like this happens that's quite unfortunate this spell is super op because you can use it after you've done another chain of combos and you essentially almost get two kills in one here because of the explosive damage to both enemies you can essentially take out two enemies at once with just one cast of the spell or you can just be evil and cast them into a barrel and walk away and let them roll down a hill into a lake um, or just never come back. So that's why this is one of the most OP spells. You can literally just crush enemies with first combos and use that spell as a combo all in itself. Um, it just does insane damage. With certain talents set up here, you can do an, an insane amount of damage with multiple talents lined up in a row. You can see in boss fights, it's also useful because you can take out multiple enemies, sometimes even more than two. So if there are two or three enemies standing next to each other and you throw the barrel in between all of them, uh, you're going to essentially almost kill every single enemy here. That's why it's so OP. Look, I couldn't get past this part. Don't judge me, okay? The next set of talents and combos is the Ava. The next set of talents and spell combos is the most OP one in the game currently, which is the Avada Kedavra and Crucio pairing. So you're going to want Avada Kedavra and the Avada Kedavra Mastery talent. Imperio Mastery, you're going to also want as well. It's going to allow an enemy under your control of Imperio to cause curses on other targets with each successful strike. Now the most important is Crucio Mastery, which means striking an enemy. Cursed by Crucio releases a projectile to curse other enemies. And some of these other spells that are in your rotation, if they're in your rotation, you're going to want to pick them so that way you can curse extra enemies. But you can see here the way Crucio Mastery works is you cast Crucio on an enemy. And then once you do that, you just regular attack that enemy. And you can see these spells coming off of him. 
And these curses are transferring to all these other opponents. And then you just cast a Vada Kedavra on them. And it kills everyone that you've previously cursed. You can literally take out like 10 enemies at once with this in a matter of like 5 seconds. You can see I got 2 trolls here. Now obviously trolls are very hard enemies in this game. I curse one with Expelliarmus. I cast Crucio on the other. And then I have Vada Kedavra and it kills them both. For huge end game bosses, sometimes this doesn't necessarily work. But with a lot of enemies it does and a lot of bosses it does. Another important thing here is you're going to want to pick up these spell knowledge talents. People are worried about wasted talents, guys. You have to pick up these knowledge talents so you can have different spell slots to cycle between. That means you can rotate between three or four spell sets and never essentially stop, have to stop casting spells. It makes the game a lot more fun and a lot more usable. If you don't do this, I, I have no words for you. You're, it's hopeless. You can see here I'm casting this OP combo again. I'm going to Crucio the troll and all of the enemies around him almost are going to be cursed and most all of them are gone. The rest that do still survive I'm just going to smack with a barrel and then you can turn another one into a barrel and keep on doing it because it's just that good of a spell. You can see almost all the enemies are already dead here. We have one final combo that is also really OP and it's definitely good for ranged specific enemies because let's be honest, I know while you're playing this game, you've come across ranged enemies that are on top of crates or on top of bridges or something and they just shoot arrows at you and you try and hit them with spells and you just get blocked by whatever they're standing on. This is how you absolutely destroy those guys. First, we're going to spell slot Accio, followed up by Descendo, followed up by Glacius. And then finally, Incendio. Now what you're going to do with this combo is just cast them in the order I have them. So Accio enemies to you, cast Descendo, throw them up in the air, cast Glacius on them to freeze them for critical hit damage, and then cast Incendio on them. Um, and it basically looks pretty insane, and most enemies around you will get smacked. Obviously Incendio is a spell I have in my spell slot, as I think most people should have. Uh, and this is going to let you pull multiple enemies to you at once and cast Incendio to do a bunch of damage on lots of targets at once. Lord help me. That being said, those are probably spell wise the biggest four combos that I use and that are super powerful in this game because you can transfer through all of them and hit them all in a row and then cycle back to the first one and never have to stop casting essentially. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Use these incredibly powerful spells and go kick some butt. Thanks.